Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. The Lord will guide you continually, and satisfy your needs in parched places, and make your bones strong, and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. I will make with them a covenant of peace and banish wild animals from the land so that they may live in the wild and sleep in the woods securely. I will make them and the region around my hill a blessing. And I will send down the showers in their season. They shall be showers of blessing. The trees of the field shall yield their fruit and the earth shall yield its increase. They shall be secure on their soil, and they shall know that I am the Lord. When I break the bars of their yoke and save them from the hands of those who enslaved them, they shall live in safety, and no one shall make them afraid. They shall know that I, the Lord their God, am with them, and that they, the house of Israel, are my people, says the Lord God. great name and the nation shall know that I am the Lord says the Lord God when through you I display my holiness before their eyes I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land I will sprinkle clean water upon you you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses and from all your idols I will cleanse you a new heart I will give you and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. Then you shall live in the land that I gave to your ancestors and you shall be my people and I will be your God. Drink of the water I will give them will never be thirsty. 
the water that I will give will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Let justice roll down like waters, and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. Let everyone who hears say, Come. Let everyone who is thirsty, Come. Let anyone who wishes take the water of life as a gift. There was a great multitude from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. Then one of the elders said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason they are before the throne of God, and worship day and night within the temple, and the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more, and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat, for the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. 